Time to play with some clay. I also invite you to ArtNet City. You can register and make your sculpture page or your artist page there. There is no possibility to upload videos on ArtNet City yet, uh, since it's an alpha version of the site. However, you can upload images to your to exhibit your works. Uh, link is in the video description below. If uh, you'd like to learn a little bit about sculpting from me, I offer nine instructional videos on how to sculpt and uh, a link to a review of the nine videos is in the video description below. So take a look and uh, who knows, you might become a great sculptor. It takes, well, it takes a lot to learn. Uh, it takes years and years of uh, trial and error. And I've done that over the last over 50 years. And uh, I've put a lot of what I've learned over the, that time period into my videos so take advantage of it ah the fans kicking in that's what makes it possible for me to sculpt being warm and <laughs> comfortable in my studio. Uh, it also helps my clay stay soft. I think I'm going to take that finger off. I don't like it.
think I'm going to come back to these hands another time. to have the shirt react to the strap that goes around his chest that holds the gun onto his uh, back. These cotton shirts that they would wear, wool shirts, were real roomy. They didn't have stores that sold clothing made to size. In other words, you couldn't get an, a small, medium, or a large. They pretty much came in one large size or one size that fit all, all people and you could do a little tailoring yourself if you could do that if you had a needle and thread to get it a little bit less roomy on a skinny guy but there wasn't a lot of choice back during the fur trading period and quite honestly for quite a bit of the 18th and 19th century. You pretty much got what you could. There's a... You can still get clothing like they used to wear. Usually at trading posts that deal with uh, reenactors and things like that. Or at a rendezvous, modern day rendezvous, you can get uh, pants and clothing that uh, would have been worn back in this time period. I think it's a fascinating period. It was a transition period between ancient ways and the beginning of modern ways doing things they were, weren't quite there yet but they were getting there the industrial revolution was just beginning and uh, clothing hadn't caught up with uh, the revolution yet everything was either ready made or tailored you had to go to a tailor to get your clothes made Alright, that's going to be as far as I'm going to take it today. Um, I believe I'm going to take a few days off, maybe the rest of this week. And I'll come back for a couple of days, maybe next week. It's a hard time of year. Um, because of all the holiday season things going on. Um... I need to let my batteries recharge. Uh, I want to do a little more research for hands uh, and look for pictures of hands in similar positions and uh, try to do use that. Uh, my hands are not well; they they ha don't really show their age. I'm 75. I should have bones showing and tendons and popping veins and all that stuff and I don't have that <laughs> um, so I can't use my own hands which makes it irritating um, so I'll get back to this uh, this next week I think and uh, 
get it a little further along. I don't know how much further I'm going to go on it because, quite honestly, I've got no way of displaying it and selling it right now. So, uh, it might be good just to set it aside for a while and let it uh, marinate in my brain. Maybe start something different. I want to wish all you guys, all of you, a very Merry Christmas. All right. Till next time. Good night. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.